We're the Smith family and we're just having fun. We're going to go all the way over now to sunny Japan. Where it might be raining or it might be 2 o'clock in the morning. Uh, but we're going to try these um, soda balls. Oh, they're these really sour ones. Hey, I said that. Mm. You like the green ones of these, it's melon soda. Mm. I remember them being really, really sour. It fizzes on your tongue. Probably not going to make your coffee taste nice. <laughs> These don't taste as nice, I wonder if that's because... You've got air to come, I suppose. The bag wasn't completely sealed, was it? I like how these feel on your tongue, though. Hmm. If you look at the sweet when you take it out of your mouth, you can see it actually fizzing, like... <laughs> Proper soda. I can feel it in her cheek fizzing <laughs> away. <laughs> it actually feels like a drink dissolving on your tongue. And I like how you can mix them together to get different flavours. What drinks do you drink that tastes like this? Because I want one of those drinks. But it's that ramen soda. Which one did you get? The brown one's the cola. The brown one, you got cola. You got the ramen cola. I just had a blue one, which is that blue drink. Now, every different sweet tastes different, which is the weird thing. So I don't know what it's meant to taste like. I just had the blue one, that. And I'm about to put a green one in because I've just finished my blue one. Once you get rid of the fizzy soda, it's like a little hard candy inside. And then and it's it got has a chewy bit inside it. No, it's a chewy thing. Ow! Looks like you get rid of that fish for a couple of seconds while you get through the hard candy and then the fizz is back. The Japanese have some really fun sweets. Mm. And a lot of them are a lot tastier than we thought they were going to be. We've had a few disappointments for that curry sweet. Oh, that cheese sweet that literally made me vomit. I didn't, even, about I didn't even get to try the sweet, just the smell of opening the packet. But then ones that tasted like curry? That kit? That was horrible. But then we had some surprises like the orange packet of really thin hula hoops that we all didn't think we were going to like. The and it was chicken, chicken and vegetables. Vegetables. Yeah. The noodles in the little... Yeah, they were pot. really nice. We just pity we couldn't get any more. We might get you to call on your way home. Get you to go via Bradford and call at that supermarket and see if they have them. Unfortunately, they've, they've stopped selling it, so... They may only have whatever they've got left in stock there. It may have to be a product we look back on the video and get the name of and try to see if we can get it from anywhere else. Go noodles. Because nobody wanted to try that little pot of noodles and in the end we were fighting, fighting over, over it. Yeah. It was like a pot noodle but on steroids. I'm giving these a five. I like these. I'm giving them a five, but do you want to take the rest in your pocket to work? Yes. Because I think they need finishing. So, what do you give them, little people? Um, three. So, I my still, coffee taste a here. five, a five, and a... I still give them a five. Three is a five overall, so I'm happy with that. Then make my coffee taste well, weird. I still give them a five. Then. We'll see you again in the next video in a few minutes. I don't know what's going on with my gimbal at the moment. I'd, ah, it's not my gimbal. The sign isn't level. That's the prob. That's better. 
So if I line up with a sign now it's straight, yay. That means